This is an extremely valuable video if you have a Shopify store. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to track revenue from your Shopify store into Google Analytics 4. Previously, this was a very difficult task to do, if not impossible, and I've had a lot of people message me and ask me, how can I track revenue in Google Analytics 4? And today, I'm going to be showing you exactly that step by step. At the end, I will even be showing you how to set up conversion tracking in your Google Ads account. So take this revenue tracking in Google Analytics 4, connect it to your Google Ads account and import those conversions as well. Now, before we jump in on how to do this, I do have a few important notes. Shopify still does not have a direct integration with Google Analytics 4. As a result, today I'm going to be showing you how to track revenue using Google Tag Manager. Now, don't let that scare you. If you're new to Google Tag Manager, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how to set that up. And even for people that have Google Tag Manager currently on their website, I encourage you to watch this video all the way through because there are some things that you might need to change in your Google Tag Manager setup in order to track the revenue. But I am so excited to share this video because this is one that I know a lot of people have been waiting for for a long time. So let's jump in. So the first thing is to make sure you have a Google Tag Manager account. If you don't, quickly Google it and uh, create a new account. Your view may look slightly different when you're creating an account because it's a brand new container for you, but hit create new account. From there, all you need to do is name your website and then go through and name your container as well. And then for most people, you're gonna wanna click this web property, I assume, because uh, you're on a website. From there, you can hit create and then it will drop you into your Google Tag Manager account. We're gonna be in the left-hand side working in the tags area, as you can see here. And we're going to be creating a new tag for Google Analytics 4. We're going to be deploying Google Analytics 4 through Google Tag Manager. So we're going to go through and do that real quick so that Google Analytics is firing on all the pages of our website. So you go through and name this Google uh, GA4 config is what I typically like to name this, but you can name it whatever you would like. And then we're going to click tag configuration. And the tag configuration that we want to choose here is the GA4 configuration, as you see there. From here, you're going to go and copy your uh, stream ID from Google Analytics 4. This is assuming that you already have a Google Analytics 4 account. If you don't know how to get this code, go to the admin there and then go to data streams, click on that, and then you will see your measurement ID where you can copy that and then go over to back to tag manager, paste that inside of there. And then we want to then add a trigger and you want this to fire on all pages of your website because we want to track all the pages for Google Analytics 4. Once that's done, you can go through and preview if you like, but for this one, we're just gonna go through and publish it. Give it a name uh, convention. I just name it the exact same tag that I just published. So GA4 config, I'm having a little bit of trouble there and then hit publish. So now we have Google Analytics 4 deployed through Google Tag Manager, but we need to make sure that Google Tag Manager is firing on our Shopify store. So if you click that code in the top right hand corner, it'll bring up a view that looks like this. You want to copy the head and then head over to your Shopify store. And then we want to go into the theme liquid or into edit code and then into the theme dot liquid. And we're going to be pasting this code in the head of your website. So just go and find that head tag, go right below it and then copy that in there. And then um, there is another thing that we need to do for this setup. This is a really important step. I will link this down below, but you wanna go and copy this code right here and put this right before where you put your Google Tag Manager code as well. So this is an important step. Like I said, I'll, link, I'll add a link to this um, Google Tag or to the Google um, steps on how to do this, but copy that inside of there as well. And then we want to go back over to Google tag manager and grab the body tag and do the same thing. Scroll down until you find the beginning of that body tag there and then paste it right below. Now, before you hit save, if you previously have added Google Analytics 4 manually through the theme.liquid using this code right here, then you're gonna wanna go through and delete that. So I encourage everybody to do a quick check of that code. I like to do a command find of just the .js tag. If you find it inside of there, delete that entire code that you just saw on the page so to make sure that you're not double tracking events in Google Analytics 4. Now that we have Google Tag Manager installed on our Shopify website, it's now go time to go through and build the event to actually track the revenue. So we're gonna click on tags there, and then we're gonna go up and we're gonna hit new tag. I'm going to name this uh, ecom, you know, GA4 ecom uh, event, whatever you'd like to name it inside of there. We're then going to click on tag configuration, and then we want this GA4 events tag. From here, if you followed the instructions up to this point, you'll see something that says GA4 config or whatever you named it in this left-hand column right there. And then the event name, you can go through and manually add this to say like purchase or something. But for this, I, it's gonna be better to track this as a dynamic event inside of here. So we're gonna click on this little plus button and then we want this to be an event. Next, we're gonna go over here to this more settings button and you're gonna want to check the send ecom data and then into the data layer. We're then gonna go through and click triggers here and then we want to create a new custom trigger. So hit the plus button in the top right hand corner. From there, we're gonna go through and do tag configuration and we want this to be a custom event. 
And then from here, I have a code down in the description below. You're going to want to copy this inside of here. This is going to copy all of the events that I think are the most valuable for um, tracking uh, Shopify purchases. And it's in a regular expression. So you're going to want to go through and click that little button there on the right hand that says time or use regex expression. From there, we can go through and save this event. And you need, oh, I forgot to name this real quick. So we'll go through and name this trigger. And I just like to call this GA money sign, GA for, you know, ecom event, whatever you'd like it to be so that you know what it is inside of your Google Tag Manager. We hit save and then save one more time. And then from this point, you can go through and preview the changes inside of Google Tag Manager if you'd like, but I'm just going to actually hit submit the changes so that I can see these changes actually go live inside of Google Analytics 4. If you just do the preview mode, you're not going to see things um, go live inside of Google Analytics 4. So go through and name the version here, and I'm just going to name this GA4 Ecom Events. Publish that tag. And then there we have it. There's our changes. Exit out and then go back. And then from here, I'm going to go through and preview the changes and go through and add your e-commerce store inside of that button right there. It's going to connect Google Tag Manager and your e-commerce store so that you can go through and troubleshoot events. From here, we want to go through and send a test purchase through. So just grab whatever product it is um, and go through and do a test purchase. So for this one, we're going to quickly go through and grab um, one of these products here. And then I'm going to run through the checkout process real fast. And because we're in Google Tag Manager preview mode, Google Tag Manager is going to keep track of all these events. And basically this is a, re a way for us to test to make sure that this purchase is actually firing and going through the way that we want it to. So now we hit and the pay now, and we're about to hit the thank you page on our Shopify store. Once we've hit that page, we can then go back over into Shopify, excuse me, back over to Tag Manager. And we can see that our GA4 purchase did fire underneath that purchase event. And then we can even click inside of there, see the different tag details. You can even come over and click in this Google Analytics view and see that the purchase did fire and all the data that was associated with that purchase. There's the purchase price or the revenue inside of there. And we can even go into our Google Analytics. And if you go into uh, configure and then debug view, you can then see inside of here your uh, the the Debug, debug view where you can see the purchase. If you click inside of that purchase right there, you can see all the data associated with that. You can see here is the shipping cost, the tax amount, uh, which there wasn't any in this case, the uh, the shipping, we already saw that, and then the actual value, which is what we ultimately want inside of Google Analytics, right? That's the purpose of this video is to see that come through. What that allows you to do is to go into um, different reports. Say, we, for instance, we come in here to that report right there, and then we go into um, monetization or even uh, you know, e-com purchases or acquisition. You can see here the user acquisition. Now you're starting to see um, which channels actually drove revenue. You can see here's direct and organic, and then you can see the amount of conversions or purchases, and then the total revenue value. This is the ultimate setup that you want to have inside of Google Analytics. Now I will say, as you are going through and testing this for the very first time, it did take a minute for the revenue data to show up inside of Google Analytics. So give it a little bit of time if you're not seeing it right away. If you saw it fire in Google Tag Manager, that's probably a pretty good sign, but maybe wait a little bit to make sure that you're seeing the revenue data come inside of here, just a quick note. And real quick, for anybody that wants to import this transaction goal now into their Google Ads account and run it for Google Ads, essentially what you need to do here is come down to admin and then go down to uh, Google Ads link Go through and link your account inside of here. We're going to choose a Google and I want this one right here. We're going to confirm and then do next. And then we want to enable these and hit next. And then you can hit submit. Then allows us to have this linked account so we can come over to our Google ads account, go to tools and settings. We come to here to conversions. From here, you can then go through and add a new conversion action. And we want to choose import and then Google Analytics for property. And then this is going to be from the web and then continue. And then from here, as you can see, there is our purchase event that we just went through and created. So we can select that and import it into Google ads. So now you have conversion tracking in your Google ads account from your Shopify store as well. So you can optimize those ads 
towards um, your, your shopping campaign. Now, if for whatever reason you don't see that purchase event in Google ads right away, give it a few hours and then come back and check it later. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time to go inside of there, but that's pretty much everything. If you made it this far in the video, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, if you found value and even like, they're both free to do and it helps a small YouTuber out like myself. Going forward, when Shopify does come out with a direct integration to Google Analytics 4, I will create a new video on that. So if you are watching this and it's been a couple months since the video came out, be sure to check the links down below to make sure that, to see if there's another way to implement Google Analytics for. But going forward, this will be a future-proof way to do tr conversion tracking regardless, but it may be an easier way going forward.